Well, hello, Freedom Fighters. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a technique called micro split testing. It's gonna help you get the most accurate data about your audience. It's going to allow you to find your buyers quicker without spending a fortune. So let me show you how to do it. We're gonna be setting up an ad completely from scratch and I'm gonna show you guys how you can set up a campaign with a bunch of different ad sets that's going to allow you to test different variables of your ad to figure out what is going to be the most profitable and get you the most sales. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I am gonna be giving away details on the giveaway. I just wanna say really quickly, thank you to every single one of you that's here and watching this video. Without you, none of this is possible. We just hit that 10,000 subscriber mark. We've got 10,000 Freedom Fighters in the family. And so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for a $100 Amazon gift card and for my favorite book.com secrets that has helped me along my journey in internet marketing. And I think it's gonna help you a lot as well. So stay tuned to the end of the video for details on how you can enter into the giveaway. And let's get into the video. So right now we are on AliExpress and we're just going to search for a product and then I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually set up these split tests. So we'll just stick with the gaming niche for this tutorial. It's always going to be a super profitable niche. There's always people spending money. And so let's see what we can find. We'll go ahead and search for an Xbox gaming headset. And when we are on AliExpress, you wanna make sure that you're always filtering out by orders. This is gonna allow you to find the most profitable products that have the most potential of making sales. We know that these products already have a lot of orders and so they have good potential for making sales for us as well. So we can see here that this first one is a camouflage gaming headset and it's going for just over $20 and you could very easily sell a headset like this for $50. You can see here it looks like it's really good quality. It has great ratings and there's almost 4,000 orders. And so we're going to go ahead and set up a split test campaign for this product. And so there's a couple of things that I want to talk about before we get into the actual campaign. And so let's say that you have absolutely no idea what type of people would buy this type of product. A really good tool that you can use to figure out which type of people are most likely to be interested in buying the gaming headset would be to use audience insights. So Facebook gives us this huge database of information on all of the people that are on Facebook. And so we have to be using it to our advantage. So right now you can see that we are on Audience Insights and right now without putting in any interest, we can see that 54% of women are on Facebook and 46% of men are on Facebook. We can also see which page likes are most popular throughout Facebook. So we can see very general large topics like Coca-Cola, Dunkin' Donuts, Pizza Hut, those types of things. But when we are looking to target in a specific niche for a specific product, what we do and how we use Audience Insights is by typing in an interest that's related to the product that we're looking to selling. So right now, Fortnite is trending like crazy. A lot of people are gonna be buying products for gamers that are playing Fortnite. And so we're gonna go ahead and type in Fortnite under interest and see what we get. So we can see right now that 30% of women and 70% of men are interested in Fortnite. So our buyers are most likely going to be men. And then we also can see the actual age groups that are interested in Fortnite. So the largest group is going to be men between the age of 18 and 24, and men between the age of 25 and 34. So that's gonna be really important when we go to actually set up our campaign and our different ad sets and split tests. Keep that in mind and we're gonna come back to it. Now we can also see the page likes that are also related to the interest Fortnite. So people that like Fortnite are also interested in these topics. So we can see these stores they're interested in. We can see under video games, we have Fortnite, Destiny, GameStop, Fallout, and Call of Duty. Under toys, we have a couple of things, Battlefield, gaming video creators, Gameology is extremely popular. We can see product services, entrepreneurs that people that are interested in Fortnite are also interested in. And so this is all extremely, extremely detailed 
build data that we can use to our advantage when we are setting up our campaign. Now, another thing I want to show you really quickly is if we jump onto Google Trends and we search for that same topic of Fortnite, we're actually able to see the countries that are most interested in Fortnite. And you want to make sure that you're searching by worldwide. And if we scroll down here, we can see that New Zealand, Australia, Norway, and the United States are most interested in Fortnite. And so we're going to be using that when we set up our micro split test. And so let's actually get into setting up this ad. So for the micro split test, we're going to use a traffic campaign to gather the data so that we know which variables are going to be most successful for our ad. And so we're just going to be naming this campaign Xbox Gaming Headset Micro Split Test. And this is really important, guys. So when you are on setting up your ad sets, you want to make sure that you click this tab up to the right where it says create multiple new ad sets. And this is going to allow us to split test different audience variations to find what is going to be the most profitable for the cheapest cost. And so if we scroll down a little bit, we can see right now that we are targeting the United States. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add a location variation. So when we were on Google Trends, we saw that New Zealand and the United Kingdom were also highly interested in Fortnite. And so we're going to split test those different locations. So we have the United States, we're gonna type in New Zealand, and then we also are going to add one more location variation, and that's going to be the United Kingdom. And you can see here up at the top that when we add in a new location variation, the ad set went from one ad set to three ad sets based off of the variables. Now I want you to keep your eyes on this top right corner, and we're gonna add in the actual age range locations. So if we come back over to Audience Insights into our demographics, we see again that the most interested in Fortnite is going to be ages 18 through 24 and 25 through 34 and they're men. So that's what we're gonna put in for our age range. So we have 18 through 24 and then I want you to watch the top right corner when we add in another age range variation. It goes from three to six because it's going to be testing the age range variation against all three locations. So it's going to double those ad sets when we do add in another variation. So for this one, we're gonna be doing age 25 through 34, and we're gonna be targeting men because in Audience Insights, it shows us that 70% of men are the ones that are interested in Fortnite, so those are most likely to be our buyers. And we're going to select English for the language. And then if you come down to the actual detail targeting, if you had absolutely no idea how to target this product, but you knew it was in the video game niche, you can actually type in video games here. And Facebook is going to give us a bunch of other related interests. And if we click on that, we can see here that there is a suggestions bar. And this is gonna give us suggestions that are also related to the video game niche. So we can see here gamer, online games, PC gamer, Twitch is huge in the video game niche, so we're definitely gonna be using that one. We see Fortnite, again, which is the one that we were talking about earlier, PlayStation 4, and all kinds of different stuff. So we could just use these interests. And so we'll leave video games at the top. And then you always want to narrow your audience down by engaged shoppers. Otherwise, you're gonna be getting a ton of clicks, but you're not gonna be getting as many buyers. And so it does shrink the audience, but it's definitely worth it because you're getting people that are going to be more likely to actually buy. And then we're just going to add in a couple of other interests. So we're going to add in another detailed targeting variation. And so I want you to watch the top right screen. So right now we are at six ad sets. And when we click this button, it's going to go to 12 ad sets because it's going to be testing this behavior and this interest against the different age groups and the different locations that we were targeting earlier. So we're going to go ahead and add in Fortnite. And then once again, we're going to narrow that audience down by engaged shoppers. So it's really important that you are narrowing the audience instead of adding in another interest or behavior. Otherwise, it's going to target either Fortnite or engaged shoppers, but we only want to be targeting people who like Fortnite who are also engaged shoppers. So for the last one, we will just grab one from over here. So we come back up to our page likes. We can see that under video games, we have Fortnite, Destiny, GameStop, which is a store. So that could be an interesting one. So we will add that one as our last detailed target variation. 
So right now we are at 12 ad sets and when we click that button, it's going to go up to 18 ad sets. And so we'll just type in GameStop here and see what type of audience we're looking at. So it's over 8 million people. And then once again, we're going to narrow that audience down to engaged shoppers. Now, if we scroll down, we're going to edit the placements of the ads and you wanna make sure that you're targeting on both mobile and desktop. You need to test and find out where your buyers are coming from. I know I get a lot of traffic from mobile, so it's really important that you're optimizing your ads and your store mobily so that it's easy for buyers to make purchases on their cell phones. And then you want to get rid of all of the platforms except for Facebook feeds and Instagram feeds. So we're going to uncheck all of these boxes and then we're going to come down to the very bottom and adjust the budget and schedule. So even distribution means that your budget is going to be split out evenly throughout your ad sets. Whereas a balanced distribution means that based off of the audience size, Facebook is going to determine the budget of what you're spending on each interest. So if one interest is larger than the other, then Facebook's going to put a larger budget towards the larger interest. So we want to keep even distribution so that we can get the most accurate data and figure out which is going to be the most profitable variables of our ad sets. And you don't have to run a huge budget to start out. I recommend doing between three and five dollars per ad set per day to figure out which variables are going to be the best for your audience and who is going to be your buyers. And so we have 18 ad sets and 18 ad sets times five dollars is going to be a ninety dollar daily budget. And we can see that here and we're going to keep the even distribution so that we can find the most profitable audience for our product that we're selling. And so from here, all we do is we just press continue. And you can see here all of the different ad sets that we set up, testing different variables of the ad, testing location, testing interest, and then also testing the age and gender of our potential buyers. So that is it guys. That is how you set up micro split tests. And so once you run these ads, you're going to find that a couple of them are profitable, maybe a couple of them break even, and then you're losing on the rest. So the ones that you are losing on, you want to make sure that you kill, and then you can start to scale the ones that are actually profitable and from there you're able to duplicate those ad sets and test them against different interests to fully optimize the ad and make the most sales and the most conversions for the cheapest cost. So I hope you found this video super helpful. If you did, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down in the corner and turn on the notification bells if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single Tuesday and Thursday. And if you are still watching this video to enter into the $100 Amazon giveaway, make sure that you leave a comment on this video saying Facebook ads. And this week I am going to be choosing a winner and I'm going to be sending it directly to to your doorstep so you can buy whatever you want on Amazon and you can get started reading dot-com secrets. I promise you it's going to help you so much with your online journey. So thank you guys again for making this possible for me. Every single one of you helped me get to 10,000 and I just want to give back and again just say thank you so much. You guys have no idea how much it means to me and I cannot wait to see you guys on the next video.